Hi there, it's Ivan and you're watching Puzzle Guy channel. Probably you're not gonna believe that, but today I'm gonna solve a puzzle. And I'm gonna solve a puzzle that was recommended by you, my viewers. And to be exact, it was recommended by Steve Watson. He uh, recommended me three different puzzles. The first one, Stern puzzle, I solved a couple of weeks ago. It was a pretty difficult looking puzzle, which has 24 parts and the object was to take it apart and to assemble it again. If you haven't watched that video, click right here. And today I'm gonna uh, solve second puzzle. Its name is 8 Knot Cage. It was designed by Binko or Václav Popsivac, Czech puzzle designer who creates high quality wooden puzzles. The difficulty level of this puzzle is 8 out of 10 and the object is to take it apart and then assemble it back together. And I don't think this puzzle is going to be difficult uh, to find the correct way how to assemble it, but it's going to be difficult to assemble it since it's more a dexterity puzzle. And usually when uh, I solve such uh, kind of puzzles, I wish I had three, maybe even four hands, but since I have only two hands, I have to deal with what I have. So it's going to be quite interesting uh, how long is gonna take me to assemble the puzzle. So if you like eight knot cage puzzle and you want to buy it, link is gonna be in the video description as always. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the puzzle, keep watching the video. And now let's try to solve this monster. This puzzle is really huge. So I'll start my stopwatch and I think I'm ready to take it apart. I'm a little bit afraid to do it since as you can see, it's pretty loose and I think when I remove the first part it's gonna just fall apart and then it's gonna be a real challenge to put everything back and the other challenge is not to lose the ball since when I remove some parts it's gonna try to escape from my table so let's start I'm gonna remove some of the parts and let's see what is gonna happen okay it is still standing that's good and this goes there oh there is a ball inside okay i'll put it right there and the rest of the parts okay that's it now the most interesting part i have to put everything back i think that i have to count how many parts here, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 24 parts. 24 parts this puzzle has. Oh, okay. Now I have to figure out how to put them together in such a way that I can create the same huge shape. So as I remember, some of the parts were, probably all of the parts uh, were together in pairs like this and then some of the parts were between them. Or maybe they even, no, I don't think they were like this. Okay, let's see what I can do. I don't think it was like that. Okay, you know what, now it looks pretty complicated. I think that I missed something at the very beginning and I had to take a closer look at the puzzle first and then start solving it. Okay, so I know exactly that some of the parts were like this and between them were some other parts, probably like this. Okay, that's probably the right idea. But I don't think it is something that really supposed to be like this. So there were no parts in the middle, somewhere like right here. There were only parts somewhere in this top part. So let's try to count them. So there were like four vertical parts in four corners and each had two pieces, so it's mean eight eight on the other side it's 16 and have eight more parts we have to put those ah okay and eight parts from other side okay 
so it means that I have to put somehow to here or oh, maybe I have to start from the bottom row so it's going to be something like this so these two parts are going to be on one side these two parts are going to be on the other side and I think that all parts are exactly the same I don't I don't see any parts that look different so I have to deal with what I have okay so this goes here these two parts will be here and next what I have I have to figure out oh maybe it was like that okay so these two parts were right here oh I think that now I know what's supposed to be so this part will go right in here between these two parts and exactly the same part will go right in here and this will go there okay that looks that looks like it and another part will go right there between those two parts that's going to be quite challenging to assemble but i'll try to do it so that's going to be my first not out of eight okay now it took me just five minutes to figure out what i have to do now i have to try to do it in every other side okay so that's mean that i have to put this part here one of them goes there another part is gonna be oh how to do it with just two hands and not to break it while doing another side so i think that when i will be done with the bottom layer it's going to be a little bit easier but for now it is quite a challenge to put everything together so okay this part goes inside there and i think that i have to put only one part right in here okay so that's going to be not easy to do and i don't think there is like one way how to assemble it in beautiful smooth motion so i'm gonna do it like a, a little bit this brutal way okay that looks like the begin of the nice shape that i'm gonna create so next goes which goes piece next okay this goes the bottom and i have to put some sticks one goes here another will go right in here and the bottom piece i have to move it up a little bit yep like this okay and another piece will go on top but i think that before that i have to try to put these vertical parts in here okay that's gonna make it a little bit easier later to put the one part on top so let's see this goes here this goes right in here okay don't fall apart i hope everything stays together maybe i have to use rubber bands but usually puzzles don't allow to use external tools so i have to use what i have just my hands and nothing more okay now i'm gonna stick this piece and hope i'm not gonna ruin the whole puzzle wait wait please no okay one of the parts went down that is not cool oh i think that i i've been able to fix this side okay yeah but not i've been able to fix it but not the way i want it to be okay this piece is supposed to go there okay no 
Whew. Okay. I have to save at least something. No. Okay. I think that I have to start from the begin. Almost from the very begin. At least I saved one of of eight knots. Two knots are done. Now I have to probably I can hold it with one hand there. And now I have to try to assemble the rest with just one hand since with another hand I'm holding the rest of the puzzle together. So I'll start. I think that I can put one piece on the bottom. It's gonna help me a little bit. Oh, I can even put two pieces. I think it's gonna help me a lot. And I have to stick this part right in here. And that's going to be just like two thirds of the whole puzzle, but I have to fit eight more parts, which is going to be quite a challenge again. Okay, that almost fits. Maybe I have to do it like this. That's going to be a little bit easier for me, I think. So please, just a little bit more space to fit this piece. And yeah, okay, done. That is four out of eight assembled also these parts assembled so i have just to put eight more parts who that is really challenging so these two parts will go right in here and i have to put the ball inside okay that's good that i didn't forget about the ball since i could forget about it and then have to take it apart again so these parts will be right here these parts will be right here and now I have just two parts and I hope it's not gonna be difficult but I can't be sure at least I think that the bottom part is not gonna fall apart but let's see if I am right, if it's not going to fall apart, the whole puzzle. So let's move it. Oh, the first is done. And I have only one left. Hope I can do it without ruining the whole puzzle. Yeah, that looks kind of a little bit stupid to do it like this, but I don't think there is other way. Ooh, okay, 15 minutes. That was pretty quick. Uh, at the very beginning, I thought that it's even impossible, but then it was quite possible, but very difficult to put everything together. That was quite a difficult puzzle to assemble. As I told you, you wish you had three or four hands to help you to solve the puzzle, but since you have only two, you have to deal with what you have. And I don't think People who doesn't have enough patience have even started to solve uh, this puzzle since probably going to end up breaking it or throwing parts away. And since I have enough patience and I can contro control my anger pretty well, I've been able to solve it. But even for me, it was quite difficult when I assembled three notes out of eight and was assembling the note number four. The puzzle fell apart and I was almost out of control. I, I was almost ready to use bad words during filming, but then I figured out the way how to uh, make uh, this process of assembling a little bit easier and that's it, the puzzle was uh, solved. But still, it took me quite some time uh, to assemble it. So great puzzles for those who like dexterity puzzles. And if you like this puzzle, you want to buy it, link is always gonna be in the video description. And if you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. 
and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time.